Okay, we're here on the Missy AE podcast show, and as we try to do each year, um, there's a couple of folks I always like to get on and get their thoughts about it, and this guy is always the first guest of the season. So, Shannon Elkins, the bad boy of Survivor, is here, and we're going to talk Survivor, what is it, brawn, beauty, brains, brain. breast, what else do they got? What else they go have? Balls. Boobs. <laughs> men, men wanting to lick balls. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Uh, we're going to start with the beauty tribe. There's six players on each one. Um, the first player on the beauty tribe, we'll start out with LJ McCannis. He's 34 from Boston. He's a horse trainer. He says he's probably most like Boston Rob. Nah, I think he might be better than Boston Rob. Is, is, is he the oldest person on that tribe? Uh, yeah, Jeremiah's close. He he, Jeremiah's close. Well, he's listed as 34, too, so I guess yeah. the two guys. Well, I, I think LJ, uh, I like LJ. He's actually a pretty pretty decent. His video wasn't, um, wasn't too bad. Uh, I, I, I like him. Yeah, I like him. Yeah, I think, and I think the fans are going to like him because he he seems kind of like he knows what he's going out there to do, and he doesn't look like he'll veer off his plan very much. You know, yeah. it's it's like he's he got a goal in mind that he's going to do it. He seemed real. Yeah, at the beginning of his video, he seemed hot, but he seemed he seemed uh, real. And then you said Jeremiah's on that trial. Yeah, before? Jeremiah. He's thirty four. He's from oh. Dobson, North Carolina. Oh. He's listed as a male model, but he kind of does that yeah. part time. You know he's Look, he's a he's a big he's country not, boy. What killed me about him? You know, first of all, he opened his mouth. He sounds like a moron. But um, yeah, Abercrombie he's talking about how pretty he is, it's going to be this and that. People are going to look at me how pretty. All the dude has to do is start talking, and it's going to ruin everything they see. Yeah, sounds like a dumbass. Not only that, but how are you this model? His teeth are so jacked up. Did you notice that? Yeah, you he's think have, you think you, you know that camp. that tribe. I mean, as far as the three girls they got, they got definite three babes on there. Do you think he'll be able to maybe flirt and use his little southern charm to get along with the girls and maybe get a numbers uh, advantage? Like I think the the uh, the, the Jeffer chick. I mean, you know, she she claims to be basically Russell Hans because she's a professional second place, she said, so she's. Her and Russell must be related because they they love second place, <laughs> and um, but I mean she she seems so dumb for a baby. Well, no, not so much Jeffrey. It was the other one. Who's the other one that? Uh, well, now it was Mor- Morgan. Morgan, yeah, Morgan is. Uh, she used to be the San Francisco 49er cheerleader. That poor baby is so dumb. Poor thing. <laughs> Her video. I watched the first thirty seconds of video and I couldn't mm-hmm. take that shit anymore. I had, to, I had to turn that crap off. I was like, okay, boom, she's dumb. That's all I need to know. But do you do you think she'll be able to maybe use her looks to her advantage? Well, I don't think Morgan can. I think she's too stupid. But Jeffra maybe. But Morgan, I don't. I don't think she's smart enough to use that. What about what about the other one, Alexis? Um, she goes to Northwestern, and uh, she's kind of getting overlooked because you know Jeffra's the Southern blonde, and of course Morgan's. You know she's getting a lot of attention for her looks, but. Alexis may be the little sleeper of the bunch. Yeah, out of out of the three, it would, I would have to go with her or Jeffra on um, <clears throat> on uh, as far as who can pull out some type of strategy for the girls in the beauty tribe. Would it be Jeffra or um, Alexis? Or Alexis. <clears throat> yeah, I like I like both of them. I like both their chances too. I don't necessarily think that they can win, but I think they could do some damage. Yep. Uh, that only leaves one more person on the beauty tribe, and I know you're going to have fun with this one. And, and oh, I forgot that uh, in the butt Bryce is on the beauty <laughs> tribe. Wow, I mean Bryce Johnston I, I, from I, Philly. First of all, I've never seen so many blacks. Is this the most black they've ever had on the cast? I think it's the most. It's see. the most balanced mix. I think it has to be. I've never seen. You know, I've never seen as many black people on Survivor. I'm, this might be a record. But this dude, right? I've never seen I've never seen a gay dude like this with a with a goatee and earrings. He said, "What's so funny is that he got his ass beat by boys growing up his whole life with with his brothers, and now all of a sudden he enjoys getting his ass beat by boys." Pun intended. So I mean, what the hell? What the hell kind of shit is that? But I mean, 
mean, dude, that, that's 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 brutal, man. They, they, this this right here, they dug deep. Casting <laughs> dug deep for for the shit they got into this cast. Yeah, he uh, he actually went to auditions and stuff. He posted pictures of himself in a big long line at a Survivor audition. So I guess he was persistent, and they put him on the show. Oh yeah. Uh, I guess so. What do you think about the Survivor contestant that he says he's most like? He named three people. Sari, Ozzy, and Colton. I mean, he can't hold a flame to Colton. I think, I don't think he's got, I mean, Colton, if Colton wouldn't have let his emotions get to him so much, he could have been such a good player because he he was good at getting people to do what he wanted them to do, but yeah. I don't see this cat happening. I don't see this happening for Bryce. Um, Ozzy, well, how does he even compare himself to Ozzy? I mean, <clears throat> I mean that, that's weird. I'd almost be pissed off if I was Ozzy. And then, um, and then Suri, I mean, what? So, I don't know. Suri was I mean, one, of the best, one of the best strategic players we had. Yeah, and I don't even really remember her that much. But, I mean, I know her name, Suri, because it's such a specific name. But um, I, don't, uh, I don't really – I don't really um, – I mean, Sari, Ozzy, and Colton, uh, maybe his attitude, he, he he talked and he kind of had the same attitude as Colton, yeah, because that's how, you know, that's kind of what they, they give off, but no, I don't think this dude is going to be able to, uh, you know, I think Colton had, Colton was, he, you know, he had the gay type attitude, which is kind of, you know, arrogant, this and that, but Colton was very much, I think, on the, on the female side as far as he knew his role, he... Whereas Bryce is more of, I think he's going to get really aggressive as far as the dude side and the chick side. I don't think he's yeah. anything like Colton, and I wouldn't. Yeah, I Colton, wouldn't Colton was really good at being able to balance between the guys and the girls. And, and uh, you know, a lot of fans don't like Colton, but Colton was a very, very smart player. Um, yeah, that's what, I, that's what I thought. He would have fit in good with the uh, Brains tribe on this season. And let's, yep. speaking of that, let's move over to the Brains. We got a 21-year-old student from Chicago named Spencer Bledsoe. What do you think about Spencer? Um, Spencer, very, obviously very smart. Um, kind of kind of like a short-haired Fabio. I think he's nice enough to where, you know, he's not going to piss anybody off and he could win the game. Um, you know, he's smart and seems nerdy. Yeah. I also got a, I also got a sense that he's going to, I don't think he's able to hold it in on how smart he is because, like, he wants to tell about it. I so, think that may be his downfall. I think he's going to be the type so to, too. yeah, he's going to be the I type so that he's too. smart. He knows he's smart, and he wants you to know he's smart. Yeah. He he says he's most like uh, Fishbach and Marty Piambo. Marty Piambo was smart. Marty Piambo is a bitch. <laughs> as far as as far as Stephen, yeah, Stephen may have been smart, but I mean. Uh, he lost. Yeah, uh, I, I don't really, I, I I don't really see Spencer winning, but I think he could be an interesting character. I think he I think he wants to kind of be seen in the mold of a Cochran, or maybe like Ian Terry from Big Brother. But uh, I just I don't think he can fill those shoes his first time out. No, me neither. All right, what'd you think about uh, here? Here's a guy that uh, he probably he probably looked better than you did out there in shorts. Garrett Adelstein, he's a poker player. I think he got famous playing poker on the Internet. Well, and you know what's so funny? This guy says, oh, I can read people. I can read people uh, really well. Blah, 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 blah. Dude, you're playing on the Internet. You're not reading a damn thing. You're looking at a screen. You're not reading shit. You're, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so for him to claim, oh, I can read people. Where are you playing poker? Playing poker behind a computer, you're not reading shit, but some numbers and some text that are talking shit to each other at the bottom of the screen. <laughs> that's not that's not re- that's not reading anybody. So He's... I don't um I mean, hey, yeah, there's a lot of profitable people that make a lot of money on the internet playing uh, playing poker and they cheat and they get busted for it. Yeah. He says he's probably most like Yul Kwan. I don't even remember him. Yul was uh Yule won the season first time Pinner was out. And he's he's kind of widely seen as as one of the the more uh, strategic winners that they had. So he's he's got a, I guess he's got high expectations for himself this season, Garrett. Yeah, it sounds like it. 
All right, the other guy on that tribe is a Miami, no, it's Florida Marlins now, isn't it? Or is it? No, it's Miami Marlins. Uh, David Sampson, he's a uh, team president for a very horrible Major League Baseball team. Oh, yeah, I know. Huh? Hey, but he, obviously he's got that money. Obviously he's got that money and he's, and he's smart. I mean, yeah. He see, that's another thing. He's he has screwed the fans over down there in South Florida for years, and and he's even kind of bragged about it in interviews. He's not even that popular in uh, in Miami. Yeah, I know you hear that, but I mean, look, you you own you own the team. You're obviously smart. I mean, so he he's obviously a smart guy. And he probably has little man syndrome, so I don't see him going very far. Yeah, he conf- he said he, the uh, survivor contestant he's most like is also Boston Rob. Is that is it? Does Jeff Probst just take the the nine guys and say, okay, you and you and you and you and you say Boston Rob? Because it it seems like half the cast say that they're going to be like Boston Rob. Well, I mean, you know that's you know that's who Jeff Probst would love to blow in the real world. So I mean. <laughs> What you what you think? I mean, <laughs> he, he, he wants those. He wants people who are going to play like him. That's what he's like, and he, lo- and he loves dudes. I mean, shit. He um he married a chick named Russell. <laughs> All right, now for the ladies on the Brains Tribe, we've got uh, Tasha Fox. Um, she used to be a St. Louis Rams cheerleader, and has Hello, Tasha. done a lot of traveling, and. Uh, May be somebody to watch. No, you don't think so. She's like she's like one of the whitest chicks I've ever heard talk. But I'm telling you, she said she wants to be able to show her many colors. I know one color is going to come out about eight days in. What? It's going to be her. Hood, it's going to be her hood color. She's going to turn into Nyanka, and <laughs> she she going to be gone fast. Think so? Yeah, I don't see I don't see Latasha going very far unless she's just a pawn and they're just using her to vote her out whenever they're ready. What about uh, uh, another, she she claims to love nerds. She's a nuclear engineer, Jatia Taylor. Yeah, the um, Jatia. Yeah. She had a Jeffra and a Jatia. Um, I mean, she says she got a pretty face. I'm like, oh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. Uh, says she's going to be most like Richard Hatch. No, I tell you, he's gonna be most like Richard Hatch. His name is Bryce. But uh, no, uh, Jatia, Jatia ain't winning shit either. I think I don't see. I don't. I really don't see any girls winning winning this show. I think I think okay. she's gonna go far. I think she can last a long time. I just don't know that she can win it. I think she's gonna be interesting. She's. I think she'll be somebody that'll make moves. I should try to make moves. I think she's gonna be somebody. They might let her think she's making moves, but. I don't think it's going to uh, go down that way. I'm really, I, from looking at the cast, I don't see any strong women that can win the show. All right. Uh, funny that this one comes up after you said strong women. I think this is your favorite favorite player, isn't it? Cassandra Cass McQuillan. She's 41. Oh. She's an attorney. Says she's oh, yeah. she's most. Get this. She's Cass. most like Sandra. Look, Cass is a pain in the ass. It took everything I had to watch more than 30 seconds of, of her video, dude. I mean, just just, just boring. I, can't, I couldn't even, there's nothing to even say or, or try to discuss about her. I was just uh, not not thrilled at all. Not thrilled at all. Um, I mean, what, what, she reminds me of the Wendy of my season. Like, Lynn went in for casting and said, okay, we need a boring-ass white lady. Somebody find me the most boring-ass white lady <laughs> And supposedly she's smart because she went to law school. I know most of the, stupid, the, the dumbest people I know went to law school. Yeah, yeah I I didn't watch all of her video. Um, did did she mention Ricky Schroeder at all? That child I, actor. I did. Because she's got this thing about Ricky Schroeder. I guess. I don't know. I yeah. you know I'm not going to comment much about her. She you know she. Uh, she says I blacklisted her anyway, so whatever that is. Oh, well. Yeah. I guess it's better than being on the white list. Yeah. <laughs> All right, our last tribe is the Braun tribe. We start out with a 39-year-old police officer. Um, 
from oh God, from, from it Jersey. He looks like a big fat TV Herman. Tony Tony Vlachos, and he says he's most like Russell Hance. Oh my God! Um, he this this dude right here, poor baby. Um, you know, just a typical the typical uh, northeastern turd. He thinks he's, he's the man, and uh, and he, he I don't see this guy lasting long. I mean, uh, like I said, he's a He's a fat TV Herman. That's exactly what he looked like. I that's think, I, you know, that it's kind of weird how they how these tribes broke down a little bit because there are there are two cops yeah. on this <laughs> tribe, and the female. If you listen to the videos, the female cop has already pegged Tony for being a cop before she's even talked to him. Because she can see his fat ass eating donut. He said, "There's only one profession he can do: be a police officer." <laughs> So you don't think Tony's going to do much? I don't think he's going to do. She's going to talk a lot of shit. I can tell you that. I, I don't know if he's going to. I don't know if he's going to go very far. I think the fans are. I think the fans are going to actually like him though. I'm, so I'm going to disagree with you a little bit on him. I think. I think he'll be a fan favorite, but I don't think he'll go very far. You must cry, man. You've already heard about it. <laughs> All right, let's get let's get to our our token. Pro athlete, you know they've gotten to where there's always some kind of tricky uh, casting. They they're either going to have an, an uh, a washed up actor or an athlete or a coach. You can't trick you can't trick this one. That's no, one. they're not going to be able to hide Cliff Robinson because what is he like six no. ten? So and okay. uh, you know the guy from the Miami Marlins is going to know who he is. Oh well, of course. So, I mean, everybody's going to ask him what, that, if he, that thinks that he played basketball. This dude ain't winning shit. He can barely speak. I mean, his video was horrible. I mean, he looked like a clown. But he, uh, you know, poor baby, is, I don't see him going far. I'm, I see, I see him breaking down real fast. Do you want to guess? Who, of, do you want to guess who he said he's going to be the most like? Who? Boston Rob. Oh my, Boston Rob, dude, you're a six <laughs> ten brother. <laughs> You're nothing like Boston Rob. Nothing. The good thing. Uh, the mean, good thing about Cliff being six ten, he's going to be the first one to know when it's raining. Well, no shit. So, Not only that, but he can scoop you a coconut like it ain't nothing. Yeah, he could. Come, he could. He could come in handy. So, but you know, if you look at the videos and stuff, the pictures, it doesn't look like him and Tony, the cop that we just talked about, doesn't look like they're getting along too good. Nah, it doesn't. It doesn't. Uh, it doesn't seem they're gonna. They're gonna butt heads. I- I'm telling you. You know, he reminds me a lot of is uh, who was the uh, the attorney? I think he played on one of Russell's season. What was his name? Uh, Jason. Jason. Yes, that turd bomb. That's who he reminds me of a little bit. Yeah, Jason. Yeah, Jason was on Russell's first season. And he's. Hey, Cliff Robinson used to be in a pawn. He was Clyde Drexler's bitch forever, so I mean, he's he's uh, he's used to being a pawn. He could be somebody's pawn. And yeah, we ought to, we ought to ask Shaq about him. I imagine Shaq's played against him. I don't know if Shaq played against Cliff. I think Cliff might have been out before '92. Yeah. All right. Maybe I was wrong. I don't know. The last the last guy on the tribe is Young Wu Wang. Dude, Young Wu Wang. I mean, how pissed off? I know Shannon's a girl's name, okay? But how pissed off of you? Where your name is Wu, but your sister got Susan. What kind of shit is that? Your sister got a real American name, and you got Young Wang Wu or Young Wu Wang. What kind of, I mean, that speaks for him. He, he could be gay. We don't know what he is. Um, you notice he only put one Chinese person per, per uh, show. You know why? Because you can't tell them little bastards different. That's why they only have one They only have one little Chinese. They got five black people, one Chinese person, and a bunch of white people. I mean, why can't you give us like three three Chinese people so we can't tell who the hell they are? That that would have been good. Give me that. So you don't you don't do you expect much out of his game? I don't expect shit from him. I mean, if they're having a karate contest, I'm going with Young Wu Young Wu Wang all day. But there's not going to be any karate contest. Yeah, his little his little ass ain't he ain't gonna last long either. I don't think so. All right, the three ladies from the Braun Tribe. The first one is Lindsay Ogle. She's a hairstylist. Um, she's 29, and I oh, saw man. I saw one of her friends today on uh, Facebook say she's not a hairstylist. She's a hair magician. She's that good at what she does. Think she'll be you good know, at the game? You, 
you know what's so funny about her too? Just like other homeboy was saying, how you read body languages through the internet. This chick said she's a professional in reading body languages. Chick, you cut hair. They're sitting down. What body language are you getting? That they're tired because they're sitting. What you, what's, what body language are you reading? I mean, in the hair, the dreadlocks. That shit's gonna stink so bad. And they all gotta have the same shit in her hair. It was stanky by day three. I mean, nobody gonna want to sleep next to that girl. All right. Got two left. Uh, our other cop on this tribe that's already figured out Tony's a cop. She's 29. Uh-huh. She's from Cedar Rapids, Sarah Lacina, and she's she's got a, a little bit of a MMA background too, I believe. Well, the the thing that kind of again, I watch these videos, the CBS videos that were posted on YouTube, uh, and her video, poor baby. I start watching, and she just seems so slow. And it was just so slow, like, I, I couldn't take it. Like, I didn't know, again, if she was on some shit, she was high, she was nervous. She just didn't, she didn't come off to, um, to uh, like, it just wasn't interesting at all. So I kind of, I watched a little bit of it, and I'm like, uh, oh, cop, boring. I was over her real fast. Who does she think she plays like? Uh, let's see, who does? Boston, Amber, Boston, <laughs> Rock, No, she picked um, Malcolm. Like Malcolm? That's what she says. Did, did, did Malcolm even play a game? That just tells you what some females think of Malcolm, I guess. <laughs> Damn. I guess, yeah, most of them don't play a game. So there you go. Pick Malcolm. Don't do shit. <laughs> All right. Our last contestant of the season is the oldest out there. Um, she's Trish. 48. Yeah, Trish Haggerty. She's a Pilates instructor, and she says she's probably going to be most like Danny Boatwright. And from what I've seen, she seems kind of like we talked about LJ, that she kind of knows what she's going out there to do, and she may be the type to stick to it. Well, the, the, the bad thing, most of those Pilates yoga instructors, they're really weird people. With their, in their channeling, their inner shit, and all that crap that is baloney, whatever they think they're doing. Um, yeah, I mean, she's going to be weird. She's going to come off strange to other people. You know, mostly, if you're the oldest, normally... The oldest, the oldest or the uh, the youngest normally take the the, uh, the biggest hit. You know, it's hard for them to to uh, succeed. I believe, and I just don't see her meshing with a lot of the people that are out there. You know, yeah. unless she's really hip into her shit, I don't see her. Me- she don't have a whole lot of old people to mesh with out there. All right, she better play. She better play the mom card to somebody. Yeah, one of them dumb girl. One of them dumb girls in the beauty tribe or something. Now, I I kind of caused a little bit of a stir um, last week when I. I tweeted that uh, all of the hopes and wishes and rumors were right. It's not a final three this year. It's a final two. Oh, really? Yeah, so how do you think? Will that change much? Um, no, it could be a boy and a girl. It is. (laughs) Yeah, it could be a boy and a girl, and I think it will be a girl from the, uh, shoot, it might even be Alexis or Jeffra. Yeah, that would be nice. From from that tribe. It could be Alexis and Jeffrey from that tribe and um with with another guy from that tribe could uh take it all the way, you know. Maybe LJ. Yep. Could be. I what? mean he he's, he seems like a real dude, you know, like the rest of them seem like some turds I couldn't really hang out with. He seems like a real guy. How how funny and ironic would that be? If if uh, after all this time, fans gripe and gripe about people being cast for their looks, how funny would it be if the two finalists came from the beauty tribe? <laughs> it would be awesome because only ugly people say people only cast for their looks. <laughs> well, you were cast for your looks, right? Yeah, that's right. I mean, <laughs> hey, uh, I'll admit it. But I also I also have a great personality, Jim. Right, right. If nobody believes you, all they got to do is ask you, right? Exactly. <laughs> All right. Well, there you have it. Shannon Elkins, look at this season's cast. And uh, like it or not, he's uncensored. He's unedited. Those are his thoughts. We're going to get them out. And then after we've watched an episode or two, we're going to do a, uh assessment with Jonathan Penner and Stacey Title, husband and wife, and see what they think after they've gotten to view an episode or two. I know Shannon don't have to watch the episode. He are, he already has it figured out. Yeah, you've already emailed it to me, so I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks for coming on the show, Shannon. Be careful out there. All right. Well, appreciate it. All right.